Hi, this is Gary with MacMouse Now. On today's episode, let's look at text selection shortcuts. So before we start selecting things, let's just learn about moving the cursor around. Now I'm here in text edit, but you could actually use these shortcuts in anything like pages, word, anything where you edit text. And if you look at the cursor just to the left of that first letter, you can see I can move it around using the arrow key. So the right arrow key moves it forward, the left arrow key moves it back. Now I can modify this by using the options and command keys. So I'm going to hold the option key down and use the right arrow. And you can see this takes me to the end of the word. So I can basically move forward by one word at a time using the right arrow. Likewise I can use option and the left arrow to move to the beginning of the previous word. So move all the way back jumping by word rather than by character using the option key. Now the command key allows you to do this by line. So I can command and go to the end of the current line or command and left arrow to go to the beginning of the current line. Now besides the left and right arrows you can also use up and down arrows. Obviously you can jump to the line below or line above and you can see the cursor moving there in the screen just by long and you can use the option key to actually jump to the end of a paragraph and you can see the cursor is now over here at the end of this paragraph and I'll use option and then up and it'll jump to the beginning of that paragraph and then the beginning of the first paragraph. Command will let you jump all the way to the end of the document or the beginning of the document. Command an up arrow and down arrow. So now to start selecting text, all you need to do is add the shift key to this. So here's my cursor at the top and I'm going to move it to a position and then hold the shift key down and move to the right with the right arrow key and it will start selecting text. Likewise I can go to the left, start selecting text to the left. If I add the option key to that, shift option, I'll select one word at a time and I can go the opposite direction with the left arrow key as well. Now if I want to select the end of a line all I need to do is use the command key with the shift key and I can select to the end of the line. Likewise I can go to the beginning of the line, command shift and left and it will select the entire line for me there. Using the up and down arrow key I can do the same thing. Shift and down arrow will select each line. If I add option to it it will jump to the end of each paragraph. I can go back up and if I do command shift it will select everything from the current position all the way to the end of the document. So the left and right arrow keys will move the cursor by one character, add the option key to move by word, and add the command key to jump to the beginning or end of a line. Add shift to that and you're selecting characters, words, or to the beginning or end of a line. Up and down arrows will move by line, option key will make them move by paragraph, and command key will move to the end of the document or beginning of the document, and then just add the shift key to those to select the same. Now you can also use the mouse to make some interesting selections. For instance, if you click anywhere in the document you will of course place the cursor there. But if you double click on a word you select the entire word. If you triple click on a word you select the entire paragraph. Now you can also use this for movement. For instance clicking once and then dragging will allow me to select by character. And I can position the end of my selection exactly where I want. Now if I double click and I select by word, I can now drag and select everything by word. You can see the selections here just jump to each word that I'm hovering over, not the character. And the same thing for paragraphs. Triple click and now I'm selecting by paragraph. Of course it's a little trickier to use the mouse because there's other functions that it performs. For instance I can double click to select this word. Now if I go to click on it again once I'm actually dragging that word and I can reposition it in the document. And you could do that with anything. So for instance I can select a whole bunch of text and now drag it to another position. So have a look at some of the basics of selecting text. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.